Okay guys, I'm gonna walk you through some major scales today. We've got a couple things we're working with. First thing is the piano. So if that helps you, or the keyboard printout rather, if that helps you, um, please keep using that, okay? Um, otherwise, you can think of your musical alphabet, which goes from A to G, and then would start over again. So I'm gonna add that other A. And then in between, we've got our, our uh, half steps. So A to an A sharp or B flat if you're moving down. B to C is already a half step. It's a natural half step, so there's nothing in between there. They are the half step. C to C sharp or D flat if you're coming down. D to D sharp or E flat if you're coming down. E to F is another one of those natural half steps, so there's nothing in between there. F, up a half step, would be F sharp, G flat if you're coming down. And then same thing here, G sharp or A flat if you're coming down. And then this would be A sharp or B flat if you're coming down, okay? So you can either count your half steps using this or using the keyboard, whichever works the best for you, okay? So we've got a formula for a major scale. Everything we're gonna be building is a major scale, okay? So our formula is a whole step, a whole step, a half step, whole, 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 half, okay? And these are the intervals in between each note. So if you think of a, a generic scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you're looking at a whole step here, a whole step here, a half step here, a whole step, a whole step, a whole step, a half step, and then that's your scale. Okay, so two places we've got half steps, otherwise we're surrounded, whole steps. Okay, now, now a C major scale is a, the best one to start with because it doesn't have any sharps or flats. So a C, a C major scale just is naturally what it is. Okay, so I'm going to do this two different ways for you. Okay, I'm going to do it with letters here. So C would be my starting place since it's a C scale and I'm going to go all the way up to the next C. D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay, so following my formula, I need a whole step, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Now, you can either use this guy to help you, or you can use the keyboard to help you. Either way, you're gonna follow your formula. So C to D is a whole step. One, two, half steps, make a whole, okay? D to E, boom, boom, that's another whole step. Now I need a half, e to, half e to F is that place where I've got a natural half step. F to G, I need a whole, boom, boom, boom. G to A, boom, 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 there's my whole step. A to B, boom, 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 whole step again. And then I need a half step here, B to C, which is another naturally occurring half step. If I do that using my little uh, thing I've written out here, I'd start here, C. Need a whole step, boom, boom. I need a whole step, boom, boom, to E. Half step, already there to F. Whole step, boom, boom, to G. Whole step, boom, boom, to A. Whole step, boom, boom, to where B would be. And then a half step, B to C is our natural place already. Okay? Notation wise, I'm going to show you two different octaves. Okay, I'm going to start with my uh, low C. So this would be C on your A string, if you're looking at this one. And then I'm just gonna go line, that's on a line, I'm gonna go line space, line space until I get to my higher C. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. Okay, I can also show you the higher octave, which would start here. This would be C first for your B string. Excuse me. C, D, E, F, and I'm just gonna keep going space line, space, G, 
line A, space B, line C. Okay, so that's the higher octave right there. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to D, D major scale. Okay, and I'm gonna come back to this guy over here. So I've got now a D major scale. I'm starting on D and I'm gonna end on D. So I'll fill in my in-between here. D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and D. And then I'll go ahead and throw my formula in there. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Okay, so from D to E, I need a whole step, boom, 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 and I have one, so I'm good there. From E to F, I need another whole step. We know that E to F is a natural half step, so I have to go one more half to make a whole. I've got half, half, that makes a whole, okay, if that makes sense. So I'm coming to the F sharp now. So from F sharp to G, I need a half step, and it already is one, so I'm good there. G to A, I need a whole step, and we've got one, so we're fine. A to B, I need a whole step, and I'm fine there too. B to C, I need a whole step. That's another one of those naturally occurring half steps, so I need to go one half step further to C sharp. And then I need a half step from C sharp to D, which I already have. So I'm good there, okay? Notation-wise, I'm gonna start right here. That's gonna be my open D string. D, E, F. I remember from building my scale here that my F is sharp. G, A, B, C, and I'm remembering from building on the other page my C is also sharp, and D. Okay, that's the best place to, um, that's gonna be the best, most comfortable place to play that guy. All right, E major scale, moving on. So I've got E, F, G, A, B, C, D, and E. I'm gonna put my formula in, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Okay, right off the bat, I need, from E to F, I need a whole step, and I know that's a naturally occurring half step, so I'm gonna bump up to my F sharp. I need another whole step from F sharp to G is only a half step, so I gotta keep going to G sharp. Now I need a half step, G sharp to A, and I've got it. A to B, I need a whole step, and I've got one. B to C, I need a whole step, and we know that's a naturally occurring half step, so I'm gonna have to bump up one to C sharp. C sharp, I need a whole step to D, which I don't have, that's only a half step, bump up to D sharp. And then I need a half step from D sharp to E, and I've got it, so I'm good, okay? So notation-wise, easiest place to do this guy is gonna be starting right here. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, and E. This E is going to start you on your D string, second fret of your D string, taking you all the way up to open E. Now if you wanted, you could write this down an octave and start on your low E string. That's going to be a lot of ledger lines. Okay, so I'm not going to write that one for now. Now I remember from writing my scale, I've got F sharp and G sharp. So I'll go ahead and throw those guys in there. F sharp, G sharp, and C sharp and D sharp. Okay, there's my A major scale. Okay, the next, the next one is a G major scale. I'm gonna show you this one using notation. So if you like this way, keep going this way. If you like doing notation first, um, I'm gonna show you that way too, okay? So I'm gonna start with G and make my scale G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, okay, there's my scale. 
This G is open. This would be your open G string. Okay. So looking back at my formula, I know I need a whole step, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Okay. G to A, I know I've got my whole step already. A to B, I've got my whole step and I'm good. B to C, that's that natural falling half step, so I'm golden there. C to D, I've got my whole step. D to E, I've got my whole step. E to F, I need a whole step, I have a half. So I need to bump that up to an F sharp. And then F sharp to G gives me my half step that I need for the end of that scale. Okay, so that's notation. All right, we'll do the next two um, with notation as well. So I'm gonna start off my A. Now, I'm gonna do two octaves for this one. You could start here. That's going to be the second fret of your G string. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Or, technically, you could also start down here, A. That's gonna be your open A string. B, C, sorry, that's kind of messy. D, E, F, G, and A. Okay, so here's my formula, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. A to B, I need a whole step, and I have one, so I'm good. B to C, I need a whole step, I do not have one, so I'm gonna throw my C sharp in there to give me the whole step. C sharp to D, I need a half step, and I've got it. D to E, I need a whole step, I have it. E to F, I need a whole step. That's only a half, so I'm gonna go to my F sharp. F sharp to G, I need a half step, or I need a whole step and I have a half step. So I'm gonna have to take that up to G sharp as well. And then G sharp to A gives me my last half step that I need. So then over here, I can just fill that in. I've got a C sharp, I've got an F sharp, and a G sharp. Okay. All right, the last one I'm gonna do um, using the keyboard. So I'll do notation again. I'm gonna start with this B down here. This guy's gonna be on your uh, low A string. B, C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. Or you could start here. B, C, D, E, F, G, A, and B, and then this would be your open B string, okay? So I'm gonna put in my formula, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, and I'm gonna take to my keyboard this time. Make sure that's on the video, yeah. All right, so starting with B. From B to C, I need a whole step, and I've got a half step, so I'm gonna have to bump up to my C sharp. C sharp to D, I need a whole step and I have a half, so I'm gonna bump up to D sharp. D sharp to E, I need a half step and I've got it. E to F, I need a whole step, but it's only half, so I'm bumping up to my F sharp. F sharp to G, I need a whole step, I have a half step, so I've gotta keep going to G sharp. G sharp, I need a whole step to A, and I've got a half step, so I bump up to A sharp. And then I need a half step from A sharp to B, and that's exactly what I have, so I'm golden. Okay, and then I'll just transfer these sharps over. I've got a C sharp, a D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp. Okay, that's my V major scale.